And this is my pinhole box camera. A do-it-yourself one I made from a design on emulsive.org that I'll link to in the description. I'm Jim Gooden and this is a new uh, video series I've started uh, all about my return to analog photography and of late uh, fascination with the pinhole world. Um, I made this out of uh, literally two uh, ends from a film box, in this case a paper box. So I used two ends from that and then cardstock in the middle. There is a, uh, the back plane in here has got a little retainer that holds my sheet of four by five in. It's a single use deal, so I get one shot and then I gotta take it out and changing bag and process it or process it another time and reload. Now that little slider on the front uh, is held by the tape is the shutter, uh, which you'll see me slide off in a little bit to reveal the pinhole or the foundation of the pinhole. The pinhole, is, it's under 0.2 millimeters. Uh, I believe literally 0.183 is what I got, uh, which was kind of a lucky shot with the pinhole. You barely poke it into the tin foil because if you poke it all the way, you get a wider diameter than the rafter. So this is about a, this is a 90 millimeter focal length, uh, which is determined from the front to the pin frame there. And uh, it's about a F. 491. <laughs> so you start at F128 and then you take the difference and uh, you come up with your exposure factor, which I will also link in the description and did in my first video. I calculated by the meter, which I'm using Lightmatic, about 30 seconds. This is the pinhole box camera. It's a DIY contraption and I've linked about it down in the uh, description. And uh, Let's start with making an exposure. This is what we're getting here. The span shell and kind of the landscape and whoever passes in front of it. I like to let those things happen. So we're going to do about i I'm going to do a 25 second exposure. So it'll, it'll maybe be good overall, may burn this guy out. But uh, anyhow, so what we'll do to kick this guy off, um, I'm going to slide. The, this shutter piece that I've got secured with a couple of pieces of tape over and I'm going to pause for a minute. All right, we did around 25 seconds, but this is the DIY pinhole box camera. It's four by five, 90 millimeter focal length, and it's worked out well. This is going to be my ninth image with it. And there's, I'm uh, getting the band shell and the foundation and sort of a, you know, industrial landscape here. So that's the idea. It's some wind today, so I'm trying to weight the tripod a little bit with the, some light of what I've got in the backpack. Um, and uh, we'll see how this comes out. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, I'm Jim Gooden. This is my analog again channel. It's kind of my new efforts on returning to film after many years away and rather enjoying it, particularly the 4x5 world. Thanks again for watching and be well. Bye-bye.